In a span of three days, the valley saw nearly seven terror hits which injured over 20 and killed eight CRPF Jawans. The question that NNIS asked experts was that whether the bad days of the Jammu and Kashmir state was back. Those in the know say that there has been a build-up over the past few months. Top officials have reviewed the security in Kashmir in the wake of the deadly Pampur attack. The Marnath Yadra is scheduled to start soon and security personnel are not lowering their guard. There are now growing calls for effective and responsive mechanism among security forces and intelligence agencies. It is a fact that some attacks have taken place in the past four or five months. Usually we see whenever summer starts, there are militant activities are increasing every time. But it is not possible that situation will go back to 90s when there was, uh, when the entire Kashmir Valley was in the grip of militancy. However, there are certain problems in the state. Younger generation is bit disgruntled. There is a growing unemployment problem. You will have to see two more things. First of all, vigilance on the borders, it has increased tremendously and it is making difficult for militants from across the border to infiltrate. That is why now we see there are some militants still in the valley. They are trying to get support of local youth in this matter. They are not fully trained as foreign militants are. So that is why they try to target policemen more rather than paramilitary or army forces. Whatever happens is a very sad incident, loss of life, eight people have died, more than 20 have injured. When you get this information that they had given the inputs, I don't know what kind of, nobody ever gives you specific inputs. Just to say we remain alert, they are likely to attack is not an input. All of India is getting input that we might be subject to a terror attack, but that is of no use. Still, it is real-time intelligence.